हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सूरजनाथ शिवाजी जाधव सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट के आई टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस दिस इज यूनिट नंबर वन कंबाइंड एंड डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस सो लेटस सी द वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड इन द लेसन नंबर टू इन द लेसन नंबर टू वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रेक्टेंगुलर कॉलम सब्जेक्ट विद कॉम्प्रेसिव लोड विथ द बोथ द एक्सिस विच इज इसेंट्रिक विद द बोथ द एक्सिस सो डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय द पी बाय ए बेडिंग स्ट्रेस इट इज इन द बोथ द एक्सिस ड्यू टू इसेंटिसिटी ई एक्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट द बेडिंग स्ट्रेस एज सिग्मा बी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स अपॉन आई एक्स एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय वाई विच इज नथिंग बट द पी मल्टीप्लाई बाय ई एक्स अपॉन आई एक्स एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय वाई सो नेक्स्ट is bending stress due to eccentricity e y sigma b y is equal to m y upon i y y multiplied by x is it is nothing but the p multiplied by e y upon i y y multiplied by x next from that we we studied about the how to calculate the resultant stress at any point which is the algebraic sum of direct stress plus or minus bending uh, bending due to bending stress due to eccentricity in e e x plus or minus bending stress due to eccentricity e y now this is our lesson number 3 where we are finding out the how to calculate the uh, resultant stress for the unsymmetrical columns subjected to the eccentric loading so let us see here one column which is hollow on one edge okay and this is the only uh, understanding purpose where you can see the point load is in the red point here so how to calculate the resultant stress for the unsymmetrical column section let us see how uh, let us see how to here you can see the steps how to calculate the unsymmetrical column uh, here here you can uh, see the steps how to uh, calculate the resultant stress on unsymmetrical column subject to the eccentric loading so first we have to determine the center of gravity that is the cg of unsymmetrical section so let us see here o is the cg and x x axis and y y axis passing through the centroidal we are finding out the cg from first step according to the x x axis and y y axis passing through the cg we can find out the eccentricity in ex and ey ex is the eccentricity from x x axis and ey is the eccentricity from y y axis next step is determine the moment of inertia of section about axis passing through the cg we require to determine the bending stress next we have to calculate the distance between the corners of section about next is calculate the distance between the corners of section and its a uh, its cg and last step we can calculate the stresses on each corner by using our regular formula which is used in lesson number 3 and lesson number 4 so let us see we are going for the numericals because the unsymmetrical section can be in any shape okay so we can understand from the numericals here so first example first numerical is on unsymmetrical column is a short column has a square section 300 mm by 300 mm with square hole of 150 mm by 150 mm as shown in figure it carries an eccentric load it carries an eccentric load of 1800 kN located as shown in figure determine the maximum compressive and tensile stress across the section so we have to find out only maximum compressive and tensile stress across the section so here you can see the hollow part is at middle and that is not at a center so it is little bit upward direction so it is you can see the according to the dimension of the uh, column 
we can see the uh, column is symmetrical about y y axis but unsymmetrical about x x axis and uh, point load here you can see it is lies on the y y axis so it is the example of uh, eccentric load with only one axis only case is that our column is unsymmetrical in x x axis so load is given that is 1800 kN So first step, we have to determine the CG. So CG can be determined by using our formula X bar and Y bar. Here you can see our figure is symmetrical about Y Y axis and unsymmetrical about X X axis. So we have to find out the Y bar. So Y bar can be calculated by our formula A1 Y1 plus minus A plus or minus A2 by y bar can be calculated by a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 or a1 y1 minus a2 y2 divided by a1 minus a2. So from that we can calculate that y bar as 1 158.34 mm from face CD. From face CD means from top y bar is 158.34 and from bottom y bar is 141.66 from AB phase. So after calculating CG location, after finding out the location of CG for unsymmetrical column, we can get, we can calculate the next step, we can going for, uh, we are, go, we can, after finding out the location of the CG, Next step is determine movement of inertia of section about axis passing through CG. So load is eccentric about XX axis. So we have to require we have to require calcul we have to require we have to calculate the movement of inertia about XX that is uh, six one four. 0.62503 mm raised to 4. It is nothing but 614.06 into 10 raised to 6 mm mm raised to 4. So now we can calculate the eccentricity that is uh, 158.34 minus 30 minus 50. It is nothing but the eccentricity E is equal to 78.34 and the, that eccentricity that eccentric load is lies above the x x axis. So, C D H we can calculate the maximum stress and minimum stress at H A B. So, next step, third step is calculate the distance between the corners of section and its C G. The distance between C G and corner locations. So, we have to find out the stresses at top corner and bottom corner so we required only two locations two distance so first distance that is the maximum y from the xx axis is 158.34 at the top and minimum y from xx axis is 141.66 that is on ab phase so next step step number four is calculate the stresses on each corner so we have to find out the we have to find out the resultant stress only on the top and bottom edges so direct stress can be calculated by load upon area p by a it is nothing but 1800 into 10 raised to 3 divided by total outer rectangular minus in, uh, inner rectangular 300 by 300 minus 150 by 150 from that we can get the direct stress as 26.66 newton per mm square so next is bending stress. So bending stress on CD phase, we can calculate sigma B is equal to MX upon IXX multiplied by Y because here uh, eccentric load will produce a movement about XX axis. So we require MX upon IXX multiplied by Y. 
सो एम एक्स वैल्यू इज एटीन हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाय बाय ई वैल्यू इज सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट थर्टी फोर डिवाइड बाय आई एक्स एक्स इज सिक्स वन फोर पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स एंड ऑन द टॉप फेस वाई वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव दैट इज वन फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट थर्टी फोर फ्रॉम दैट बिंडिंग स्टेज वी कैन कैलकुलेटेड एज थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट थर्टी सिक्स न्यूटन it is positive so it is compressive in nature on ab edge bending stress can be calculated by mx upon ixx multiplied by y where mx is p multiplied by e same as above that is 1800 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 78.34 divided by 614.06 into 10 raised to 6 where y value is negative 141.68. From that we can calculate sigma b is equal to minus 32.529 newton per mm square, and negative sign indicates tensile in nature. So resultant stress is nothing but on CD edge is direct stress plus bending stress that is 26.66 plus 36.66. It is nothing but 63.32 newton per mm square. It is compressive in nature. On AB edge, that is direct stress minus bending stress, that is 26.66 minus 32.529, that is negative 5.869 newton per mm square. So negative indicates tensile in nature. So I hope you understand how to calculate the uh, resultant stress on unsymmetrical column from first example. Let us see second example where. the point where the eccentric load is uh, eccentric about both the axes so second example is a short column has a square section 160 mm by 200 mm with the circular hole of 80 mm diameter as shown in figure it carries an eccentric load of 100 kN located as shown in figure determine the stress at four corners so load is given as 100 kN so first step we have to find out the location of cg so here you can see the circular hole is not at center not at uh, symmetric ab about x x axis or y y axis okay so here so circular so circular hole you can see it is symmetrical about x x axis and unsymmetrical about y y axis so we have to find out the location of cg so x axis uh, circular hole is symmetrical about x x axis so y bar is nothing but the center that is the 200 divided by 2 that is 100 mm from top and bottom but but circular hole is unsymmetrical or uh, unsymmetrical section is unsymmetrical about y y axis so we have to find out the x bar from ab edge sorry from ad edge and from bc edge from ad edge x bar is 83.72 and x bar is 76.27 from bd edge so after calculating the after calculating cg we can find out the location of uh, point load and we can calculate the eccentricity accordingly so eccentricity ex is equal to 50 mm which is the distance from x x axis and ey is the eccentricity from y y axis so next step step number 2 determine the moment of inertia of the section about axis passing through cg so moment of inertia we required because we because uh, we have to calculate the bending stress for that we required the moment of inertia and the load is unsymmetrical about both the axes so we required the moment of inertia about x x axis and y y axis so moment of inertia about x x axis is 104.59 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and moment of inertia about y y axis is 63.865 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 for this unsymmetrical column next step step number 3 is calculate the distance between the corner of the section and its cg so here we locate the cg here and uh, 
we know the corners that is a b c d point so we have to find out the location the value of x and y are taken to be positive on the same side of x and y as load so here load is existed left side of y y axis and top of the x x axis so uh, d point at here you can see x is positive on left side and y is positive on top side so opposite to that right side x is negative and downside y is negative so you can see d point is where x and y coordinates are positive opposite to d b at b point both the x and y ordinates are negative so at a you can see the x ordinate is positive that is 83.72 mm y ordinate is negative 100 mm at b both x and y are negative that is 76.27 mm and y is minus 100 mm at c point x is negative and y is positive that is x is equal to negative 76.27 mm and y is positive 100 mm at d x and y are positive that is x is equal to positive 83.72 mm and y is equal to 100 positive 100 mm so next step last step is calculate the stresses on the each edge corner so for that we require the direct stress so direct stress can be calculated by load upon area so load is 100 into 10 raised to 3 divided by area is rectangular uh, rectangular section minus circular hole so 16 uh, once so area is 160 multiplied by 200 minus circular area is pi by 4 multiplied by 80 square from that we can calculate the direct stress at as direct stress as 3.707 newton per mm square next we have to find out the resultant stress at each and every corner so we require this formula also we require the ex value and ey value so ex is 50 mm and ey is 23.73 mm we require these four ordinates for uh, we require this x and y ordinates for all four corners let us solve let us calculate the resultant stress at a so at a direct stress is 3.707 bending stress in uh, due to e x is m x that is p multiplied by e x that is 100 uh, into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 50 divided by i x x that is 104.59 into 10 raised to 6 y value at a is negative 100 plus uh, sigma b y that is p multiplied by e y divided by i y y multiplied by x where after putting p e y and i y y value we can put the x value at 8 at a x is positive 83.72 so after calculating you can get at a resultant stress is 2.037 newton per mm square so positive indicates compressive in nature similarly at b point direct stress is same 3.707 sigma b x is uh, after putting all the values p multiply by e x divided by i x x multiply by y at b point y value is negative 100 then sigma then sigma b y that is p multiply by e y mul divided by i y y multiply by x at uh, at b point x value x ordinate is negative 76.27 so at b resultant stress can be calculated at negative 3.907 newton per mm square so negative indicates tensile in nature similarly at at corner point c direct stress is 3.707 plus sigma b x is p multiplied by e x divided by i y x, uh, i x x multiplied by y so y is the y ordinate at c point is plus 100 then sigma b x uh, sorry sigma b y can be calculated by p multiplied by e y multi uh, 
P multiply by EY divided by IYY multiply by X. So, X ordinate at C is negative 76.27. So, at C point, resultant stress can be calculated by 5.655 Newton per mm square that is compressive in nature. Similarly, at D point, so direct stress is 3.707 and bending stress due to E x is P multiplied by E x divided by I x x multiplied by Y. Y ordinate at D point is plus 100 and sigma B Y is P multiplied by E Y divided by I Y Y multiplied by X where X ordinate at D point is plus 83.72. After calculating you can get the uh, resultant stress at D is 11.599 Newton per mm square. Positive indicates compressive in nature. So, here we can calculate the uh, resultant stress at all four edges. Okay, so maximum stress we can see at D point that is 11.59 and minimum stress opposite to D that is B point that is negative 3.907 Newton per mm square that is tensile in nature. So, I hope all of you can understand how to calculate or determine the resultant stress on each and every corner for unsymmetrical section. Thank you.